Dominic, Emily, come on. Table of contents. We are on to number 17. Write down 17. Circle it. Title it Division with Decimal Remainders. Um, put your page number, turn to that page, and title it Division with Decimal Remainders. today, we're going to have 2,361 divided by 49. So just to review, before we actually start, what do we call the 49? What is that number called? Christian. Kyle, uh, uh, help him out. Okay, so in your notes, circle the 49 and label it the visor. What do we call the 2,361? Rebecca. Yes. That's our dividend. What do we call the answer to a division problem? Sophie. Was that a hand? Okay. Who knows? What do we call the answer to a division problem? Jackson Gray. It does? Everybody say it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the quotient is the answer. Okay, so last year in fifth grade, we actually divided and we learned how to do decimal remainders. In sixth grade, you're expected to know how to do that. So fifth grade, it was just kind of something we introduced. Sixth grade, you got to do it. So I'm going to draw a line to separate. So I'm rewriting my problem, and I'm leaving a little bit of space here. So 2,361 divided by 49. So as we're dividing, we're also thinking about place value. We're also reviewing place value today. So we're taking our big number, 49, and first we're going to look at it. Can 49 go into 2? No. Can it go into 23? No. Can it go into 236? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so put a little mark there. That's where you're going to put your first number. So you've got to do some guess and check. How many 49s go into 236? So Okay, so off to the side in my margin, I'm going to do 49 times 4, and you should too. So just a little helper problem. 4 times 9, carry my 3, 4 times 4, plus 3, 196. I don't think I could fit another 49, could I? So I'm going to put my 4 above the 6. And 4 times 49 is 
196. So far, what did I do? Who remembers their steps? What did I do so far, Becca? Uh, you subtract. I haven't subtracted uh, yet. I haven't multiplied. Well, yes, I did multiply. What did I do before that? Divided. Yeah. So, if you guys remember, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, remainder. Okay? So, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and then remainder. So, you might remember that. You could write down dad, mom, sister, brother, Nala, I mean Rover. Okay. That's one way to remember it. You might also know, does McDonald's serve breakfast? What was it? I forget what it was. Barbecued ribs. Whatever you need to remember your order. So far I divided. I multiplied. Now I'm going to subtract. 6 minus 6? Zero. 3 minus 9? Nope, can't do it. Have to borrow. 13 minus 9? 4. Okay. So I subtracted. I have a 1 to bring down. Remainder. 401 is bigger than 49. So I'm going to start at the top. How many 49s are in 401? Can you use guess and check? Oh, Emery. Eight. eight. So let's try eight. I'm going to do a helper problem first. Off to the side, 49 times eight. Eight times nine? Okay, the seven. Eight times four? Plus seven? Good job. So I'm going to do eight. So I divided. Now I multiply. 8 times 49 is 392. Now I subtract. Probably subtract in my head. Who can do 401 minus 392? Jackson. Good job. Okay, now I could do 48 or 9 for my remainder, right? But today's lesson is decimal remainder. So what I'm going to do is extend my line. And anytime I do that, I'm going to do a decimal point, 0. And then I bring down that 0. Now I'm going to start over with divide. How many 49s go into 90? Kristen. Uh, one. Yep. One. one. Then I multiply. One times 49 is? 49. Then I subtract. 90 minus 49 is? Oh. <laughs> Dominic? 41. 41. Yep. Okay, now I don't have anything to bring down, but I've still got a rather large remainder. So I'm going to add another zero and bring it down. So I have 410. How many 49s are in 410? Eight. Raise your hand, don't blurt out. Trace. Eight. Eight. So put an eight up here. What's eight? times 49. Rebecca. I already did my helper problem, so I can write that down. Subtract, and what do I get? One. Eighteen. Okay, this number could have a very long decimal. Unless you're told otherwise, just go to two decimal places. Circle your answer. Today when you come to teacher group, we are going to be we're going to continue reviewing this. 
So I want this piece of paper out in front of you while you are working. Okay, Emily. Nope. Because you have your desk now. Okay, Summer. Two decimal places. Now, most answers, not most answers, but some answers, it'll come out to zero for your remainder. And I think we'll see some of those in our practice today. Because you could be here all day. <laughs> Just two decimal places for now. Okay? All right. Move to your first rotation. Bring your notes with you.